Hello and welcome to Taiwan Home Tutor. So guys, it's been a long time. I haven't posted any new games and I came up with a new game idea which I would like to share with you. Uh, let me get started. It's called a snail race. So what you need is a whiteboard or blackboard and you draw this big rectangle. While I'm drawing, I should explain that this game is great for practicing maybe word spelling or word reading. A lot of times kids in a the classroom, they don't, um, they don't really have motivation to, uh, to read the words. So this is the game which actually will kind of push them, uh, push them toward reading. So we need uh, like 10 steps over here. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five here six seven eight that's gonna be nine ten eleven a little bit more than i thought all right it's gonna be eleven it doesn't really matter uh i usually i usually do this thing i draw a little a little picture of a snail just to explain because very often they don't don't have any idea about what's going on all right so i just try to make it cute and i write like a snail race like right that just just to make it look beautiful all right inside you can write any type of words just like that i usually use different colors of markers just to make it look nice here you would write start and finish all right then you will have to get a die for that this is the game with uh, a die you can use maybe a couple of dice if you want depends on how fast you want this game to go now keep in mind it's a snail gaze, snail race so uh should be should be really slow actually all right then you have to draw on the board uh, the answer keys for the kids so they will know what the answers are uh when they roll the die just like that and usually i tend to do this thing i would put uh g over here for like four four positions will be g and two would be b you can change it to be three b and three uh, g what do they mean actually uh g obviously means go i usually draw it on the board as well and write all of this stuff and uh, b means back all right as well i'm not gonna waste time on that all right and then uh everything is very simple you set the teams i don't know one two three ten teams it depends on you and uh, then they roll the die when they roll the die they get a certain um a certain result right so if it's go there will be uh, i i sometimes choose like a cute magnet right two different magnets could be like animals or different colors or whatever like ice cream and a hamburger for example all right so they roll it and their magnet travels to the first spot where they have to either read or spell depending on their level and then another team rolls right so they're gonna go this way so it's a pretty fun game because it's going really really slowly and uh, very often they go like forward and then they have to come back and then they make two more steps and then they have to go back so they kind of review the words all the time so it's 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 really nice and they are kind of very involved now pay attention sometimes uh they kind of get mm, uh, carried away i would say with uh, with the game and forget to read or um or spell then i will set us an additional rule where i say if if the word was not spelled or said then they have to move back one step or remain where they are kind of freeze so it will actually make them poor pay, pay more attention to what they're doing uh, so this is this is the setup you can uh, modify this game in any way you like actually and even put some question words in here where they have to make questions for like uh, maybe some some higher levels all right so that's the game uh and see you next time thanks for watching bye